Hello, I'm Dr. Lee Zeitz, and I'm Dr. Sarah Bryant Bongi. Let me begin telling you about myself, and I have been here for 30 years. I've had the background and the opportunity to have taught all the grades from first to 12 in public, private, and prison schools. So I've, I've got a lot of background, and then I've had the opportunity to teach teachers about teaching using technology since then. Hi, and I'm Dr. Sarah Bryant Bongi. I have been here for far fewer years than Lee. Uh, I have come from uh, earlier in K-12. I was a library media specialist, now known as a teacher librarian. Uh, loved that job. And then I moved on to the higher education arena. And I worked at the College of St. Scholastica as a professor and also as a tech coordinator. And then I moved on to Nevada State College. And now I am happy to be here at the University of Northern Iowa. Tonight, what we'd like to do is we'd like to go through and introduce ourselves, give you some ideas as to how the, the whole you and I online program works, and then explain how our system is set up, the, the courses that we, um, that we have, the projects and, and uh, uh, portfolios and just how it, how it would work. The key about you, you and I online is that it's flexible. What we are setting, we have set this up in such a way that we are uh, addressing the needs of those who are working. So what we do is we meet synchronously once a week and we meet in the evening so that you'll have time to do that. Uh, we're very personalized in how we do it. It's easily accessible. Uh, we're in, interested in high touch and engaging distance learning. Now, when we say that, instead of it being asynchronous where it's all just written down and, and that sort of thing, what we do is we like to get together and actually meet with one another. This is where you're gonna be building your um, professional BFFs for the rest of, the, of your life. And so it's a great way to connect. We, um, educational attainment and learning from pr professional growth, the things that we're, we're doing or are, we're hoping will help you in exactly what you do. And, and when you finish, you have a respected you and I degree, which is held in high esteem throughout the country. So some of the highlights of our program are that we are definitely dedicated to your workplace or classroom application of what you're learning. So as you learn these various things and the courses you're gonna, I think you're gonna enjoy the types of courses we have ranging from gamification to professional development, all kinds of different exciting courses that we have in our lineup. You are gonna be able to take what you're learning and really apply it because that's so important as adult learners and you know people out there in the workforce that they can actually use what they're learning in their program. So that's one key highlight of our program. We're also going to be emphasizing instructional design development, the ability to integrate those learning technologies that you're actually, you know, maybe observing, maybe your colleagues, uh, your, your cohort members are exploring different learning technologies, and you're going to have a vision to be able to then go integrate that in your own profession. Uh, we'll also, one of the great highlights of this program is you'll be building a network of colleagues. That's something that's been really wonderful and highly valued with previous cohorts. Although we have updated this particular program, the previous cohorts, we get together again and again, and they come back together and they just say, wow, you know, we've made lifelong you know, a professional learning network that we, you know, we rely on and we reach out to as professionals. And then finally, you'll be learning from faculty, Lee Zeit and myself and other faculty who are really dedicated to support your success. So the delivery is designed for practicing teachers. We're, we're mm -hmm. gonna be beginning on, in August, late August, uh, that'll be a cohort model where you'll be moving through the program with 15 to 20 other people. Uh, the courses are include about 10 courses, a max of 10 courses, and that provides you with 30 credits. 
each course, and what we really like about this is because we recognize your working professionals, each course is dedicated in an eight week segment. So there's one course that's offered the first eight weeks, and then there's a second course that builds upon that first course for the second eight weeks. So that will be happening in fall semester, in spring semester, and then in the summer, as noted here on the slide, you'll be jumping into six week, two six week uh, course segments. Uh, you'll have a master's degree project that really aligns with your own personal professional needs. And then you'll be also creating a professional portfolio, which aligns with the ISTE standards, which is the International Society for Technology in Educational Leading, a leading um, organization. So this is a, a screenshot of a previous cohort, you know, just so you get the idea that it's a very collegial group very close-knit group. Um, and the classes will take place. You'll, of course, have very rich scaffolding in the form of a Blackboard course site that has a lot of resources for you to use. But also, every week, and it'll be on a Thursday, you're going to have a synchronous online class with your other colleagues. Um, our goal is to make it really interactive for you. You're doing things with your colleagues. You're talking. You're in breakout rooms. It's not going to be just lecture mode. You'll, you'll enjoy it. You'll find it very engaging. And um, as noted, it's blended. So there will be online materials and readings. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, the Zoom meetings will be on Thursday nights. And those Zoom meetings will take place from 6 p.m. to 8.45 p.m. So you can kind of count, you just kind of map out your schedule and you'll be good to go. All the se sessions will be recorded for later reference. Ideally, you know, you'll be able to attend live because that's, gonna, that's, a, that's a much richer experience. But if you can't on, a, on occasion, we totally understand that and we will be recording those sessions. And then of course, we really wanna kind of kick this off in a great way so that you kind of have a, a real sense of who all is in your cohort. So we're going to be having an on-campus visit on one Saturday in September. That will be optional. So if you're in another state or another country, um, you will be able to, you know, just kind of perhaps uh, zoom in on, a, on an iPad or on a laptop uh, and we will, we will accommodate you in that way. Now the courses that we have, it's gonna be five semesters. It starts in a fall and ends in, in the spring. <clears throat> and as um, Dr. Brian's Bongi said, we own your Thursdays. Every Thursday is when we're going to be meeting. Now, the, um, we start out and we, we start out with talking about exploring issues and trends in, in learning technologies. This is where we take a look at the field and see what's happening. And then we follow that up with actually looking at how we can develop digital learning environments using those, those trends and using those ideas. In the spring, we're going into um, understanding instructional design, which gives the basis of, of the instructional design method that we're gonna be using throughout the whole program. And then we're looking at how to design and implement professional development. Now, professional development is something our, our teachers or our students have always said that they wanted because they, want, they were, would go out, they'd, they'd learn all this material and <clears throat> they wanted to have a, a good background for creating um, professional development as coaches or as technology coordinators or whatever it might be. And so what they're doing, uh, we, we used to teach this in one of the classes and we feel it's important enough that we've now created a class un, unto itself. Now during the summer, we have six week sessions rather than the eight week sessions. And the first one's going to be a seminar on gamification. Gamification is not about playing video games. Gamification is a state of mind where what you're, you're being rewarded for the hard work that you do. And so that's the, the system we have, and we're even going to be using that in some of the classes. Um, we are also going to be talking about developing and directing online learning. Um, Dr. Brian Bongi is a published author in this field, and, and she is going to be uh, handling that one. In fall, we, are going to, we have a class on educational research, and that is how do you read research and what do you do with it? Um, there's even going to be an introduction to action research at that point, but it's these different types of research. And then my favorite one is called Creating Change through digital leadership. This is one where we're taking a look at, at change. Uh, Rogers has a, a theory, a very practical theory about how change occurs. And one of the things I've found exciting 
is that my students, our students, would go into, into their faculty meetings and they know how to make change happen because of the things that they've studied and done in our classes, whereas the other people in those meetings don't. And so they're actually able to modify what's happening in that meeting so they can get what they need. So that's real application. And then the final project, the final semester, is where we're looking at, first of all, how do you do action research? And then you have a whole semester, um, uh, eight week course in which you can do your final research. It'll actually be the culmination of other work that you've done throughout the program. The culminating projects, um, it used to be that we, we would do comp comprehensive exams, but now what we feel is much more important are the, um, the uh, portfolios. And we'll be talking about that in just a minute. Um, so for the, the culminating projects, what happens in, in the last couple semesters uh, used to be that what we would do is we had a comprehensive exam. And the comprehensive exam was something which was monumental. Well, we felt that it was more important for you to go back and actually you're going to be creating a portfolio throughout the whole semester or throughout the whole program, the, the whole five, five semesters. And so that's what you're going to be putting together. So you'll be able to share what you've done as well as maybe even use it for certification and such. The other option, the other part of this has to do with writing and in green, bringing together uh, another way to culminate the work you've been doing. Used to be that you would we would have you do a 30-page uh, literature review with 30 resources, and that's a lot of work. And also, it isn't something that a typical classroom teacher or an instructional designer does in the re regular day. So what we've done is we've, we've made it so it's even more practical. And we would like to see, uh, you can write up a project report about something. Maybe there's a, a curriculum based upon the research that you've been doing. There's a curriculum that you're going to be implementing. And what you would do is you'd write that all up, you'd create it, and then you'd sit down with your colleagues and even refine it uh, greater so that it would be something that could, could be used. Um, we have action research. Action research is what all teachers do and, and, and instructional designers. They try something new and then they measure how well that works and they use that to try to make learning even more exciting and more effective. Um, you could do a research literature review if you want. Uh, empirical research is where you identify uh, a thesis and a hypothesis. You go out and you test it and you can even write a, a journal article. These, there's a whole variety of ways in which you can do this. The portfolios are, um, this is an example of a portfolio. And this was done by Katrina Serrano. And what we have here is that she starts out, there, there's kind of an introduction at the beginning. And then she has a personal introduction where she talks about who she is, the things that she's done. There is a, uh, she has a professional resume. We have an artifacts matrix and the artifact is something that you do in each of the classes, the, the projects and things like that. The artifacts matrix is one where you, we identify what the class is, and then we can identify which of the, um, the different standards, the ISTE standards are being addressed. This is a great way for us to do a, a cross references to what's happening. Um, we have you write reflections about each of the artifacts that you create. And if we were to go here to say exploring issues and trends in uh, instructional technology, now this is back when we called our program instructional technology. We have recently change the title on it. But this is where she's actually doing some um, uh, reflection on the, on the paper that she wrote and what the context was, the outcome, et cetera. Most importantly, I, these are a number of so, the social media um, certifications, digital badges, things like that that she has, has achieved through uh, the work that she's done. And these are things that she's doing outside of our program. And most importantly was the final reflection. And that's where you actually get a chance to go back, think about what is it you learn, think about how, how you're gonna benefit from this and what kinds of, of um, improvements this is gonna make in your professional life. And this is our graduating class. That's what we're looking for. We always get together. Actually, uh, it's something where it's quite meaningful because in many cases, we haven't even met each other except maybe at an ISTE conference or something like that. But this is something where people get together and, and celebrate themselves and each other. And then as far as career advancement, this is an important thing to consider. Um, as far as technology integration, this is, I mean, what, what we're doing is everything that we do is practical. Whenever you're creating something, we're hoping that it's going to be 
something that is going to be applicable to you in your classroom or on, in your business or wherever you may be, be doing your instructional design. Um, we, what happens is that our people go to a, a variety of, of different types of positions. Uh, we look at um, master technology using teachers. You don't have to leave the classroom. We have instructional uh, technology coordinators, center staff. In some cases, we have um, special education media specialists. A number of our people become uh, consultants at the local AEAs in, in Iowa. It's called the Area Education Agency. These are you can consider them county offices that help the, the different schools. And in, in many cases, we have people who are at the higher level where they're looking at community college instructors and, and administrators. Now, how do you get here? Well, we've got some money that might, might be able to help you. If you are a, uh, one of them is the Grossman Scholarship. And that's one where we donate or we supply uh, up, up to $1,000 for three or four people um, each year where you can, you can get that towards your tuition. If you are a Panther alumni, then you are eligible for $500 a semester for four semesters. The summer one doesn't count, but you can get up to $2,000 towards your, um, your tuition just because you're a Panthers alumni. Now, how much does this cost? Well, it costs $517 per credit. There's three credits, so it's about $1,500 for each of the classes. Uh, there is a technology fee, since this is all technology, we need something to support that. So that's $38 a semester. And then there's a, a $100 uh, expense. It's a one-time expense at the very beginning just to get everything together. Uh, as we said, we have these multiple um, scholarships. The financial aid is, is available as well. You can see where it says finaid.uni.edu. You can Go to that website, see what you can learn. And if you need any additional help, Dr. Beebe and I will be able to, to work with you on that. Yeah, so I get to talk a little bit about the satisfaction rate of students who have graduated from our grad programs here at UNI. And it's very high, as you can see. 95% uh, of students who've taken graduate programs here are highly satisfied and satisfied with the comprehensive services, support services, and their general experiences. And 96% of students would recommend a UNI online distance education program to others. And of course, our goal is to maintain and not only maintain, but increase that student satisfaction rate. So the next steps, um, right now, if you have questions, you know, and they have not been answered by this webinar, you can always reach out to Dr. Lee Zeitz or myself for, with questions. You'll also find that there are a lot of good answers you'll find on the website. And then once you get your questions answered, you will be able to just go ahead to that online.uni.edu LTID website and enter your application. The things that you're gonna need for your application are your CV and resume and some official transcripts that would be sent to the Office of Admission. So our full consideration date is June 30th. We hope you'll consider joining us. And our alumni have totally uh, benefited and enjoyed our previous programs. Um, this is an, a kind of a remake, uh, an update um, to reflect new things like the gamification course and like the professional development course. But our alumni who have passed through this program, you know, have found that it's opened new doors for them. Uh, there's a person who's now working at John Deere as an instructional designer. And then Erin Shute, who was a 2019 graduate, she is now um, a leader in her field and she created some great grant opportunities and wonderful opportunities for her, her school. And she is now really in a leadership position based on her work. If you have questions, there are lots of ways you can get those answers. And one of the best ways is to reach out to Dr. Zeitz. Uh, he is the Learning Technologies and Instructional Design Program Coordinator. And his email is right here on the screen, lee.zeitz at uni.edu, and his phone number is also available here. And then the enrollment contact is Callie Parr, and she's with the Online and Distance Education Office. And so her email is callie.parr 
with two A's at uni.edu. Uh, and so we really hope that you'll reach out to us. We hope to hear from you soon. See you soon. Bye.